Hey, welcome to my second video on like uh, design patterns playlist and also second video on creational design patterns called abstract factory design pattern. In my previous video, I have explained like factory design pattern. So in this video, I'm going to explain like abstract factory design pattern. So, so if you are watching this video means I'm assuming you already know the factory design pattern. If you don't know, I'll put the link in description. Please go and watch and come back here like. So first one is like completed. Did you know what factory pattern is like? Yes, that is completed. Factory pattern is basically creating an object in some factory. So let factory is creating an object. So we are simply asking the factory. I just want the object creation of the particular uh, particular type. The factory class is responsible of returning the particular object. That is basically factory pattern. So we understand how factory pattern creating objects, right? Now, I think you know about concept of abstraction in Java. It's basically what we call abstraction. Hiding as much as possible, it will only show what is, what is generally required. That is called abstraction, right? So what exactly abstract factory pattern? It's like abstraction over multiple factory patterns. Like there, there can be multiple factory patterns. Let's say factory pattern, factory pattern one, factory pattern two, and factory pattern three. For all these factory patterns, there is a one more factory factory which is like abstracting all these factories. That's that's nothing but a simple simply called abstract factory pattern. So let's talk about like uh, by understanding uh, what exactly abstract factory pattern. So this is an abstract factory. So abstract factory has like creating multiple factories. So abstract factory is is returning a factory. From that factory, we are, we are getting the uh, uh, the required object created for us. Like so, factory pattern is basically returning the object. So the abstract factory is returning the factory, and we are even calling an uh, even calling the function from the factory to to get our actual uh, object. So this is a two level. Factory is learning only single level, and abstract factory is like two level. Like to access the child node, you can say simply in like these are terms like so you can simply say abstract factory class basically we call as a grandparent and factory is like parent and uh, the child the class which we want to access is basically children like us so this is nothing but abstract factory pattern so let's talk about simple example uh, so you can read this one this is not a, see uh, the definition things are not uh, very useful right until unless you know exactly uh, until unless you understand like what exactly the particular design pattern in the sense so here i have provided everything uh, in textual format you can you can grab and these these uh, png files are taken from like different different books like gang of four books head first design patterns books you can refer those also so a system should be independent how it products are created composed and represented a system should be configured with one of multiple families of products. So you can read all those things. Now let's understand with an example. So you get better idea. So if you see this bank, right, bank package. So how we, how the factory will look like? Factory has a single interface and also all the classes will basically implement the particular interface and uh, it has like common methods. So, and also we are accessing uh, uh, each, each, uh, imp each implemented class through particular enum. So here, bank is basically interface. It has a common name called get bank name. So uh, the bank is so we have like different banks in India, right? HDFC, ICIC, and SBI. So all those banks has a common function. Definitely, common function will be there called as the get bank name to know about HDFC or ICIC or SBI. So we are over, we are implementing the bank interface and it is returning the get, uh, we are overriding the get bank name. So it is returning the name of the bank. So we are accessing these three with the help of bank type. So as I exactly discussed how the factory design pattern looks, these are one package. And this particular bank, right? Uh, so how the factory should be created with the help of bank factory. So previously, my previous video, I have explained through a uh, map through hash map so I, I just thought of explaining through the uh, switch case also this is like more intuitive like you can also use this switch case so in the switch case we provide a type so depending upon the case it will return the corresponding uh, class object so in the previous video i have 
I have not mentioned about like uh, what will happen if you are passing something which is not present uh, in the creation part. Then you should simply throw the exception. So throwing the exception is one of the best practices in the uh, in, in normally Java. So here I was throwing exception called object creation exception. So fail to create an object like. So this is the one. This is the bank factoring. I will explain later how we are implementing all those things. So now let's talk about like loan. Loan is the one more package. Here simply, uh, here we have something called interface called loan. Is one so every so every bank uh, so loan has like different types. Loan can be home loan, personal loan, or educational loan. It can be different types, right? So every type of loan as like interest rate is definitely will be there. It's a common function. So we extracted out the common function as an interface, uh, as a function, as a, as, a, as a function. So each corresponding uh, uh, class is basically implementing the loan and overriding the get interest rate and returning the parallel interest rate. So education loan has like 6.5 interest rate and home loan is like 7.5 interest rate and personal loan is the highest loan of 1.5 interest rate. Now we have like same thing called uh, enum like loan type either home loan, personal loan or educational loan. So how we are accessing through factory? We have loan factory. Yes, you got it. So we have switch case is there. Depending upon the what kind of loan, it is returning the uh, corresponding loan object. So if it is loan type is not provided, but if loan type is not there, we are simply uh, returning like a exception called object creation exception. So now these are the two different factories which are like completely not related to each other. Now we are providing abstraction over there. Like let's see. When we are providing abstraction, so there is generally three and three, and uh, each one. So there is a like uh, in a bank called uh, let's say HDFC. HDFC can provide like personal loan. HDFC can provide like uh, uh, educational loan. HDFC can provide like other types of loans. So which means like uh, with the help of abstraction factory pattern, uh, once we get the factory pattern, we can access the uh, we can even pass the particular. Uh, um, object to the other factory to get the loan of how HDFC is providing. So for now it's out, it is out of the scope. So let's talk about like how we are creating an abstract factory pattern and then uh, accessing the uh, factories and then then child child classes. So we have so for abstract factory factory pattern also there is simple way create an interface called abstract factory. Here I was I was using the generics. So why I am using generics because one should be written type which is definitely an interface called uh, interface either bank or loan that factory written type and third thing is like our fact each factory is basically uh, takes the argument right argument right that's why i have created two uh, uh, two generics so one to return the particular object and second thing is like what is the argument we are passing it's completely how you design your uh, factory abstract factory pattern so and we have finally we have something so we have how many factories are there two factories right so in the object type again we are declared an enum just for readability purpose so one object is like bank and second second object is like basically loan now let's come over like uh, our uh, main uh, class called abstract factory provider in this abstract factory provider there is one they See, I already told right, grandparent, parent and child, abstract factory, factory and uh, uh, class, right? So the abstract factory is basically returning the factory. So abstract factory dot get factory is returning the factory and the and that bank factory, we are getting the any, any like either HDFC, ICIC or SBA. So here passing, we are passing the object type. If it is bank, it is returning the bank factory. So if it is loan, if it is written in the loan factory, if you are not there, we are sim simply throwing the error. Now let's see the how driver program looks like. So in the abstract factory, we are passing the bank as a return type and bank type as an argument. So while creating, during creation call, right, uh, we can simply, in, uh, with the help of these two, we can get. So we have an abstract factory provider dot get factory. We are passing the object type called bank. So abstract factory provider dot get bank uh, get factory is basically returning the bank type abstract factory. Uh, you can simply call the bank type abstract factory. From the bank type abstract factory, we are basically we need to create an object right uh, of the particular bank. 
we got a we got a bank factory from the bank factory we need to create an object of uh, uh, whatever bank we want like so here these two is basically called as like factory these three is basically called as like abstract factory similarly for loans see here this is like basically returning the loan factory here we are creating the loan factory here we are creating the object for loan factory so if you run here we simply get like a bank hdfc right uh, bank name is hdfc interest rate is like personal loan it can be 10.5 something right so here if you see hdfc personal loan is 10.5 so this is the way of you writing the abstract factory pattern if you know about how to design a factory pattern abstract factory pattern is very easy like it's like parent of factory pattern so that that's it like this is like a very easy way i hope you understand this one if you didn't understand anything please put the please put your views in comment section i'll try to reply to every comment ha huh. so and also i have i'm shared everything uh, in my github so you can refer my uh, you can refer my code also every anyway every week i'll upload two videos right so that it will cover uh, all those things in two months so that so that you have a complete playlist ready so we will soon meet in the next video next video is like builder pattern this is like very tricky pattern i'll explain like different types of builder pattern also so please don't forget to subscribe share to your friends bye bye